Welcome back, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning in to Excel VBA is Fun. I'm your host, Daniel Strong. Uh, today we're going to work on the worksheet right-click event. Um, if you watch the double-click event, you probably not really not uh, learning anything new for, per se, but we're going to do some interesting new things here. Because by default, whenever I right-click on any cell, I have this menu that pops down. The right click menu. Okay? And you can change the font uh, in a flash, cut, copy, paste. Sometimes you don't want your users to necessarily have the option to cut and paste or insert things or do any of these features that are so simple to do from a right click. Okay? So our objective number one, disable the use of the right click menu. That's real simple. Number two, we're going to activate a simple user form. In fact, we're going to throw one together. And I'm not going to explain too awful much because we're going to talk about user forms in a different series. But we're going to go ahead and do that. Number one, let's get the uh, code going here to disable the use of the right-click menu. So I will right-click on our sheet here and we'll go to View Code. That way we're on the correct sheet, the right-click sheet. Go to Worksheet Events and not the selection change but the before right click event <coughs> we'll delete the other one alright here we go you see that we have target available that's our value of the cell we have selected and cancel that's a boolean that means it's either true or false so first off of that cancel by default is false but we're going to say cancel equals true what does that do why it disables your right click I'm right clicking right now I'm right clicking okay it disables your right click menu and that's our first objective we're already done with half of the battle here we are going to insert a user form um, you may have a lot of questions about this but real simple we're just going to make a very simple user form okay so we're going to throw in a combo box here and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to blaze right through this. So I'm going to do a user form event here. I can explain a little bit about it, but the initialize, meaning when the user form starts, we're just going to say um, the combo box one dot add item and we'll say add item one let's see one and we'll copy that and add a few more things to there okay we'll add one two and three to the combo box and that'll be it okay we want to um, we want to open up user form one when we right click that's our second objective so let's do that now going back to our right click page here um, so whenever we run a right click it will say cancel equals true and the next line that we want to do is user form one dot show that is the way you can make a user form appear and whenever you have a user form that's going to appear it will run the initializing macro by default and that will load that combo box that has the one, two, and the three in the drop down. So I'm going to right click somewhere, anywhere, how about right here? And there is our user form and this is filled with one, two, and two. Whoops. Let's close that out. I think I meant to put one, two, and three in there. Oh, sure enough, one, two, and three. How about that? Right clicking, one, two, three. How about we will have Well, I'm going to add an extra objective. We have a few minutes. Okay, we're going to make... Let me type this in here and we'll pause it. Okay, you see here, we're going to fill the combo box with the selected value. So let's have a couple numbers here. Okay, that's good. When I right-click, right now it doesn't have a value. It's filled with options, but it default value is zero or is blank. Let's do this. 
with uh, Alt F11 going back here to our right click page how about this we're gonna say uh, we know the target is gonna be whatever we selected so we're gonna say user form one dot combo box one dot value equals target dot value okay so what that means is that drop down menu called a combo box named combo box one of the user form one its value is going to be whatever the selected cells value is and then we want to to we want to see the the user form all right so let's do that i'm going to right click on a blank cell oh the value is blank i'm going to right click on a one and you see here that uh, the number one was selected number two number three okay I just right clicked on all those right clicking here oh it tried to put that sentence in there awesome so but that's not one of our choices thanks for watching next time we'll talk about worksheet activate and deactivate we'll do those both in one video but I'll show you some cool things that we do with that